Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to the broadcast. Axel Toss and Axe Live here from the MLG offices in New York City. is Wednesday night, actually. I just misspoke. It is Thursday morning. Oh, three minutes ago. Yep. You're right. It's Thursday morning. Hopefully you guys... Wait, wait. Don't you have to get in a flight today? Yeah, I do. That's, sorry. That's a good point. All right. When, when, when is You're right. Flight? I gotta go. <laughs> All right, guys. You gotta go to, to Toronto, of no. course, to watch the... Uh, you know what, though? Yeah, um, I'm looking for It's going to be good. You know, uh, WCS Season 3 Finals, by the way, we're going to still have some great content. Um, we might get some cool interviews up on YouTube. I'm, I'm going to work um, on it. I'm, I'm, yep. It's one of my main goals over the weekend is to, to get as much content as possible. So we'll see. We're going to get that up uh, as soon as possible over the weekend. Uh, so your kind of hub for all that stuff is going to be www.youtube.com slash official. MLGSC2. And, of course, on the live stream, we'll do Red Bull Battlegrounds qualifiers. Awesome stuff. Um... But here we are, right here in the here and now. Yes. I am Singapore America's qualifiers. Puck against State, an elimination match. The loser is done and gone. The winner faces Huck in the best of five, and the winner of that match will join Scarlet in qualifying for I am Singapore from the Americas. Here we are in game number two, a must-win situation for a State. Yep. The red Protoss in the upper left-hand location. Of course, his opponent already up one to zero. In the bottom right-hand location, we have Puck. And look at this. Look at this. Whoa. That's four gateways, my friend. Old school. Going back in time. It's and like this is taking advantage of the fact that State normally doesn't scout in PvP. You can see he's never even gone to his opponent's base yet. Um, State is a follower of the Huck's theory of StarCraft, uh, whereas don't. Puck don't yeah. scout. Oh, yep. Okay. Um, that That's Huck's theory. Uh, and it's actually a very solid theory. I mean, Huck is an amazing player. He wins extremely frequently. Uh, and I actually use that theory myself upon <laughs> many occasions. For me, it's just, I'm just lazy. Yeah, well, that's that's what I am too. But oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it's it's actually a tactical thought based on Huck's play. Um, but we do see a one-game expansion from State. And oh no, oh no, the probe got in the base. This puts down more than one pylon. That's pretty much game. Oh, there's one. Pylon, one pylon, he can pull probes against one pylon. Okay, wait. He, he's got to get a sentry back to the ramp. And he's got to put like four or five probes on his pylon. Okay. He's not pulling probes. Oh, no. This, okay, he got the force field. He, oh, he's not pulling probes. He's got to rotate. This sentry needs to get back to the ramp. Sentry! 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 You oh, and the pylon finishes. He, he never pulled probes. He never got oh, the sentry on the no. ramp. Oh, he, he does get the pylon now, but the units are on top. Actually, wait a minute, though. There's no if pylons. If he gets a perfect force field, that might be a perfect holy force holy. field. Okay. He's got the photon overcharge. Those stalkers can't go anywhere. Warp gate is done. Trying to get an immortal out. Once that immortal pops, is he gonna I hold think State this? might be okay. I mean, the, the, he's the even got a nexus. The, the, well, the natural's gonna die. Uh, there's no doubt about that. But the fact that he's not dead and he let his opponent in his main base is actually phenomenal control. Oh no! If he, oh no! Don't do it, State. Oh, if State went down this ramp, he would have just instantly lost the game because his troops would have been force filled out. Um, he cannot save that nexus. Not against. I mean, not against three Zelts and the amount of warp ins that Puck has. Yeah, he immediately get into warp prism. Uh, heads up call by State. I'd probably like to see one more sentry. Yeah, there we go. One more sentry being warped in. So State should have no problem holding his name with the mortal and then, you know, a couple sentries there. Yep. Uh, but of course, behind this, uh, Puck has been getting additional probes. So he's catching up into worker counts. Gosh. Very even. I, I feel like a lot of attention needs to go to State here for that hold. That was pretty epic. I mean... Uh, if Puck had been a little bit more patient, it would have... Uh -oh. oh, no, Nick. Nick, no. This is why I should join games. Oh, no. Wait, no. is that our internet? I don't know, Or is man. that the computer? I don't know. How do we find out? Uh, can you... Will, can you come to us real quick? Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. We're wait, good. Wait, wait. We're good. Um, If it happens again, we'll leave, because I don't want to lag the... Pause. Pause. Um, oh, I, 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 oh, wait, 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 wait. If it happens again, I'll leave. So sorry. I don't want to nerd the game too much. Sure. Just letting him know. Um, of course, our you know technology is a vehicle. The vehicle of esports. Esports. <laughs> I love saying that. I don't Dude, know why. Dude, it's, it's fun to say. Okay, everyone at home. I know you're like Axel Toss. I'm not doing it. Say it out loud. Technology is the vehicle of esports. It's fun to say, and people are like, 
I don't believe you, Axel Toss. And you'll never know because you're not saying it out loud. Yes, it, it's, it's got to be enunciated and out loud. Like, someone's in like a room and they're like moms in the corner and, and they hear them and she's wondering what the heck they're doing. Why are you saying those words, Jimmy? Well, Jimmy, you, what's wrong? Are you... Are why you, would you not, Mom? Are Mom, you, are you telling drinking, me not to say those words. Are you drinking water again, Jimmy? <laughs> Is that what you're doing? We need to have a talk. You can't be saying words out loud randomly while watching a video game stream. So I, I, I love the way states, you know, he went straight for that war prism as soon as he was contained for a bit. Uh, he does not want to lose these units yet. He's got to keep those alive. He was trying to put some damage on the Nexus. Of course, unable to quite finish that off as Puck did send his army there to reinforce. But yep. uh, both players have their expansions. State, he's moving across the map. There's, there's no way State can actually... Is he going to try to trap some units with force fields? Like he, he can't actually make an attack work here. I feel like this is just a poke. I don't yeah, think he's going to commit. I'm a little scared if he does commit. I mean, for, if he gets there's trapped, so many force fields. Oh. He's got war prism. You know, he you can, can pick up some of those units. guys up if he wants. He can scoop up because this is a time half those units. <sighs> he's not that behind. He doesn't need to do anything. Yeah, crazy. no, it's, it's it's roughly even game if you look at uh, um, war prism. Okay, I'm like war prism. Have you been drinking too much water? He wants to test the shields. You okay. know, like, um, you've seen, like, any, like, a Star Trek or, like, any type of, like, sci-fi thing, right? Star Wars? Star Wars, yeah. Like, they always say, like, you know, all power to the shields, and the shields are failing, right? The shields are failing. Yeah. Restore power to the so, mainframe. So, State has to make sure his shields are working. Shields online. Yep. Okay. Move over, get get a couple shots in War Prism. Make sure everything's operational now. Uh, interesting enough, both players have stopped building probes at, the, like, the, the low to mid-30s. Yep. So neither player is really fully going two base. They're like a one and a half base economy. And State's going for this Tommy attack. He's adding additional gateways, a single Colossus, of course, no range. He's here just to stop force fields. And I mean, obviously that's damage as well. But yep. uh, Ooh, oh, 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 that's so sexy. What does Puck do here? He's got to be freaking easy. out. He's, he's three. Like, three Colossus. You shouldn't have that much right now. Target's down one. Oh, oh they they three they on. three. he's like, I can do that too. But doesn't matter. Photon overcharge deployed onto the Nexus. State trying to close the distance with those zealots. I feel like uh, Puck looks a little bit better here. He still has three immortals alive, but State still is a Colossus. Yeah, and you know, State has observers, so his units are, are avoiding targeting the, the Colossus, uh, the fake Colossus, oh, for the most part. Oh, overcharge. This is close. Yeah, the foot and overcharge, I think, may be too much, but uh, State still has two oh, immortals Puck's against only one of Puck's. Supply. Puck uh, was yeah. there, it is. GG. Whoa. Wow. That was a fun game. You know, that single Colossus helped out so much. Because it really just killed all the zealots of Puck very quickly. Uh, and then Puck's immortals were kind of isolated. Uh, and uh, and State's immortals could really take them out once his zealot took the shields off them. So a cool little time attack there. That was nifty. Yeah. Um, I like it. It worked out. And, and again, it all goes back to that, that initial hold. Literally, the, there were three stalkers that could have just gone to the left side and killed probes or something. But he went to the right side and then got himself past a gateway. And then Puck uh, had the perfect or State, had a perfect force field to to keep the Stalkers there, and they had Zealot doing damage to those Stalkers and yep. while Photon Overcharge was going on. And that was just that was one big. small part of it, but very good hold. So now we're tied. Yeah. Tied one to one. one. It's so the best of three. One map left to determine the winner. Winner will play against Huck in a best of five to determine who goes to Singapore to join Scarlet to represent the North Americas, and honestly, I would be happy with any three of these guys. They're both, they're all playing phenomenal StarCraft 2. They deserve your attention, guys, and support. Um, that's Puck, State, Huck, Scarlet. Go follow them on Twitter. Go tweet at them. Uh, tell them good luck. Tell them they're awesome. Uh, but we got more StarCraft 2 coming here, guys. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with Game 3 between State and Puck. <laughs> 